Hey guys, just got in a very special package from my friends over in Germany at blasterparts.de. This is the Dart Blaster tuning set, full metal kit for the Zombie Strike hammer shot. Should be really, really cool. So that's Blaster Parts over in Germany. Strike the limit. Box is very, very cool, very well put together. And then inside is what counts, nothing else. So we have a full on nine kilogram spring that's slightly over double the original hammer shots spring constant which is very cool quick reference guide for how to install the parts shouldn't be needing too terribly much of that and then just wow these are the full metal replacements for the hammer which is excellent and then in addition to the hammer there is a full metal trigger replacement which should give it a very realistic kind of look and feel we've got a dragonfly buzzing around me so these will engage and perform very, very smoothly, very nicely. This is a much larger hammer and just like how shiny are these? I wonder if they are machined. I bet they're machined and then hand polished or machined and then machine polished because they just look way, way nicer than anything that was like injection molded. So definitely, hmm, maybe C and C'd? Hard to say, but very, very shiny, very cool parts. And I can think of one shell in particular that deserves a sincere upgrade with some of these pieces, and that should look really neat. So I'm going to cut to the install for this kit and see how that looks. So installing the blaster parts kit is actually quite simple. These metal pins inside the hammer shots mechanism just tap right out with a thin screwdriver and a hammer and then all you have to do is slide them back together. They friction fit back together due to the kind of gnarly side on the one end that locks into the ABS plastic. And so I'm about to do that on this side, putting this one here, this one goes here, come in and add the blaster part spring which is very, very beefy, should be a very nice addition. And then all I have left to do is remove the trigger. I'm going to try and do it here on camera without messing up this torsion spring too bad so that I can just literally drag and drop. Man, how simple was that? Oh, spoke too soon. Almost. It's hard. The goggles are wrecking my depth perception here. There we go. So that's in place. Then rotate it all the way around and that's looking great, so all you have to do is slide this pin in and then put back on the hammer shots kind of holding bracket here that keeps all of the internals not only in place but also in line. And that should be really, really simple. I'll show you what they look like inside the shell. Alright, so you guys guessed it, we are using the German kit to tune up the carbon fiber hammer shot. I think that that'll be really, really nice. The spring is almost got a bit of pre-compression to it, which makes it a really tight fit inside the system. Without these metal parts, I don't know if it would handle this as smoothly as it does. Now, the metal parts are primarily an aesthetic upgrade, but in all reality, with this much pre-compression, there is a lot of pressure at full prime and so I think that it's really good that the catch mechanism is a little bit tougher now. Over here I've got a swatch. This one is not punched yet. This one has been punched so this is a hammer shot leather wrap. It's the classic black leather that I've been using for a lot of my wraps so this was an excellent excuse to come in and give this one a wrap as well and I think that it will be just a very very fine prime or er, sidearm by the time it's all said and done. It should look very very nice. Well guys, here it is, final product, and it's hard to imagine that there is a finer hammer shot on this side of the Pacific Ocean, but here it is. This is the carbon fiber hammer shot finished. I finally got around to giving it a leather wrap with a leather stitching in the back, so it's much more comfortable. And then, how do you beat this kit? It was so very simple to drag and drop this into play. I actually... I, I have thumbs that work in such a way that this is a little bit harder than a different style of hammer for me to prime, so I wouldn't want to dual wield with these, but I really, really love how it lets you fan and just, wow, exactly like that. So fanning is now super duper ergonomic and very, very easy. So that's a fun trick. It definitely makes a great sidearm for your thigh now. Maybe not so much for my shoulder rigs, but I'm just amazed by this kit. It was so simple to drag and drop. The pieces operate so smoothly between one and the other, and they really aren't, 
I thought that the heaviness of it would induce drag, which would slow down your shots, but with the nine kilograms behind it, it's very, very smooth. Wouldn't want to do it with a stock spring, but luckily they include that nine kilograms in each one of these kits. So I couldn't recommend this more highly. I think that it is a very, very solid kit. It's been tested now by myself as well as others, and everybody seems to love these metal hammer shot parts. They're very clean. They're super duper shiny, and I just think that they're really, really nice. They look look great. I, I wish I had a metal barrel, but I'm actually quite glad that it has the orange barrel so that it still meets all United States safety regulations and I can use it in public because it is very, very cool. So that's the carbon fiber hammer shot. I think that this is probably the last time you'll see it outside of war videos because I can't imagine doing anything else to make it cooler than it already is, but really like this blaster parts kit. I will put a link to it in the description box below if you want to check it out for yourself, but just an awesome awesome piece of machinery and I can't get over the shine. So as always guys, thanks for watching. That's the Blaster Parts Metal Hammer Shot Conversion Kit from Germany.